Hey, what's going on? Day six, I believe, of this uh, daily vlog. Uh, a couple things. I have uh, updated, well, first of all, I'm happy that my hair is much better shape than it was yesterday. Um, and uh, sorry for kind of abruptly ending the vlog yesterday. I, I recorded it first thing in the morning thinking that I'd have time to, you know, follow up throughout the day but what I'm starting to notice is there's gonna be days that you know it's just too crazy and especially uh, when it comes to the weekends and stuff like that it's definitely gonna be a little more nuts so uh, just as a heads up for future there may be times when I'll kind of uh, seemingly end the video just out of nowhere where it's like oh we'll see what else happens and then it's like all right thanks for watching so uh, I'll probably do a better job of just kind of leaving him open-ended like that. But um, anyways, uh, the second thing is I have changed a setting on my phone. So I hope it works. It's, well, first of all, I guess the coloring is supposed to be more of a cinema type style. So if you think this style, well, one, if you notice any difference, do you prefer this look or do you like the previous look, which is more of a, you know cell phone or not cell phone but you know true color kind of style if you don't notice a difference then no problem but if you have a preference over the other let me know in the comments below and then two there's this crazy thing on here called face tracking which i didn't set up it just started doing on its own so uh apparently it's following me around see look oh i can't escape the camera it keeps moving and following my face this beautiful mug so anyways um those are some fun technical things uh i wanted to do this uh, entry right here because well let me make sure i'm not in the wind here because uh something that my friend andy sent me was uh really inspiring and and caused me to think about something and so you know the other day i had talked about um you know my inability to listen to podcasts that i really want to as far as self-help or um a business podcasts and things like that educational style um, because i kept losing my attention because it would make me go off to thinking other things and uh my friend andy texted me a link to an episode of the joe rogan podcast where he uh, had a special guest and I hope I say his name right. It's Naval Ravinkant. And uh, it's if you want to watch it or listen to it, it's Joe Rogan Experience episode number 1309. And his guest is Naval Ravinkant. And uh, Andy thought that uh, I would really enjoy uh, this episode. And he was right. I mean, I haven't listened to it all yet, but just in the first minute or two, I was like, man, this guy's awesome. And this is exactly what I think I need to hear and and he caused me to think about things and um, one of the things he talked about was how he he wants to go back to the old philosophy of how people lived in like ancient Greek times where as a kid you grow up and you get educated and you go to school and then you, the next stage of life is you go into battle and you you go into war and then after that you become a business owner and then after that you become like an official in the government and then after that you become a philosopher it's like and so his point is that you're constantly changing you don't just stick to one thing you're constantly learning and evolving and I thought that was really awesome and um, it made me think about something that I've been that I have had trouble with and and I think I'm still working on for sure um, that deals with anxiety is that when I am faced with suggestions uh, in particular like Jamie always has great suggestions um, she'll constantly be learning about different things and hearing different ideas um, and and encouraging me to try and implement those or to try them out and it's frustrating for her because my initial reaction most of the times was met with negativity and excuses or reasons why that's not a good idea for me. Uh, and it was like almost immediately. 
So, I mean, imagine being somebody uh, who's like hearing something like, oh, um, there's this great idea of how to do your work uh, quicker and more efficiently with less stress if you just start listing things, like something like that. And so Jamie's like, ah, oh, Nolan's been struggling so much with, with work and, and being organized. This would be perfect for the problems he's dealing with. And then she presents it to me and it's like, oh, remember that stuff that you're really worried about and, and struggling with and it's causing you a lot of stress? Here's a great idea. Just start listing things. And then instead of me saying like, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Or, you know, being more inquisitive about it. My first reaction is, oh, but like that means I have to write stuff. I don't know. Am, am I, am I, uh, Am I disciplined enough to write things? And, and then I'll come up with all these lists of reasons why it might be a bad idea or reasons why I feel like, meh, I don't think that's a good idea for me. And it'd be frustrating for her because she's like, man, what, what, what else are you gonna do? You're just gonna sit around and not do anything. And here I am giving you all these great ideas or suggestions. And instead of even just like being open to them and hearing them out and considering them your first reaction is negativity and shut it down and for the longest time uh, I, I, I wouldn't I wasn't sure what that came from and why I did that and now I'm thinking after listening to this podcast like you know um, I, I think it's my anxiety uh, kicking in because what I'll do is when I hear these ideas to grow and evolve and change I get scared of what if I fail and then I start to imagine all the scenarios of um, how this could be a bad idea or how difficult it'll be and all those types of things and that's what starts coming out uh, of my mouth to her you know I start saying like, well I don't know well I, and the questions I come up with are the questions that I ask myself internally uh, almost self-sabotaging uh, and or or the thoughts of fear you know, of like internally I'm scared. Like that sounds like a great idea, but I don't know if I can personally do it. And um, I would hate to be the one who uh, disappoints Jamie or myself by failing at it and not being able to do it. So why don't I start coming up with all these questions as to... Um, to validate those fears, you know? So, um, but in listening to, you know, this uh, Naval uh, Robin Kant saying, you know, like the ideal thing is to constantly evolve and change and not stay stuck into one type of career or one, you know, type of way of thinking. Um, I think that's, I agree with that. And if I can get rid of um, these tendencies and get control of my anxiety so that when these other opportunities or suggestions or chances to educate or better myself or change things, change directions come up that I should open up to them and at least, at the very least truly um, look into them and consider them in a way of, in, in a perspective of how will this help, uh, how can I succeed in it versus the first reaction is how can I fail at it, how can this screw things up for me. Uh, it's a totally different way, uh, direction of looking at things, but it's so easy to change how you perceive things and live life. And so that's something that is going to be difficult. I can't probably change it overnight. but. Uh, the more I at least recognize it and can catch myself, you know, um, I think the more it'll become normal for me to do that kind of stuff and to think that way. So uh, that's what I uh, kind of came up with today. And um, I hope that that's something that is helpful to you as well. Um, again, uh, let me know what you think or... If you want to go check out that episode, I'll, um, again, I haven't listened to the whole thing, so the rest of it might not be relevant or helpful, but since I referenced it, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put the link in the description 
so you can check it out if it's something that you're interested in but um, that's it for this morning I don't know if I'll add more to this today because it's another crazy busy day I literally just had this thought and so I ran out of the house while the kids are uh, cleaning house and <laughs> they're probably wondering why I'm not helping so I'll go back now uh, and help them clean house but hope you have a great day and if I don't see you for the rest of the day, I'll see you tomorrow. And if I see you later on today, uh, disregard this. Okay. So as I continue to listen more to this episode with Naval Ravikant um, on the Joe Rogan podcast, he's been dropping so many great gems and been saying so many things that resonate with me. And I think with a lot of you who go through the similar things that uh, I've been talking about here on this vlog, and one of the things that he was talking about was um, how people with depression or anxiety, uh, they tend to have uh, this thought process or this way of thinking of uh, being overwhelmed by all of the things that they want changed that they're not happy with in their life. Uh, that they want, uh, that they have desires that, um, you know, that, they're, that are not being met. And so what happens is that they get overwhelmed and they're constantly uh, just have tons and tons of different things that they they're going through in their head and in their lives that they're like oh, this this isn't going right or I want this to change or um, and it's just so overwhelming where as he was saying that you know happiness he believes is a choice and um, he challenges us to just concentrate it's okay to have one thing that is major in your life that you want changed uh, or that you have a desire to have happen and it's okay to concentrate on that one thing but all the other things um, it's just gonna slow you down and it's going to uh, not allow you to appreciate and look at the great things that are happening and, and be happy so I thought that was really telling and uh, something that I could relate to where as there's so many great things that are happening, but you know, because I think about all of the things that aren't or things that I want changed or things that I'm worried about, um, it's hard to, hard to uh, be happy and appreciative of those wins and to feel like your life is going great and stuff. And there's been times when I just feel overwhelmed and, and almost like shut down. Like I just don't want to get off the couch because of all of the things that I'm worried about that I have to deal with. And instead of worrying about them and, and things and having them bog me down, um, just think that there's only one allowable major thing to to want changed. And I don't know, there's, there's probably way more, he does a way better job of explaining it to me. So again, I encourage you to go check it out. And that's just something that uh, really resonated with me. And I, and I hope that by me at least doing my best to sum it up, that maybe it'll inspire you to go watch it too and, and see what what uh, he was talking about. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, hey, can you do me a favor? If you like the video, can you hit that like button for me? And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too so that we can continue on this journey together. All right. and. Uh, Hey, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, let's continue this conversation in the comments below. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for another daily vlog. Bye.